I want to do a little video on one of my little cash crops that I do on the farm. Um, just a little spending money. Um, but this year we got a really good crop, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> the cash crop is pecans, or some of you may call it pecans. Either way, uh, just started harvesting my seven trees and it's going really good um i did this tree here by the house you can see it's still green there's still clusters of nuts up there that's yet to fall which is amazing because we had a 23 mile an hour wind the other night and they were just bouncing off the house all night and this tree was loaded they're all loaded anyways this basically and i'm not even really done there's continuing falling every day so i have to get out here and get them i'll show you in a second what i get them up with but this basically came off of that one tree i don't know poundage or anything but um it's a lot of pounds here i think i usually harvest around 150 to 200 pounds per tree usually it's 200 but they look they look good anyways that's that and then this tree here by the way these trees are over 100 years old if anybody's wondering this tree i'm not done yet and actually there's more left up there than any of my other trees i got this so far and it's throwing out a little leaves and there's some sticks in it and stuff. But overall, the, the nut size on these are just average. These are what they call Stewart's. Anyway, as you can see, the ground, like they'll be, yeah, where the picker couldn't get them. <coughs> So now I'll show you, I just started on this tree. I'll show you how thick they are. If I can get a little video of this little picker. So I got this tree, that tree, a tree on the other, two trees on the other side do. So here's what they look like on the ground. You can see they're everywhere. everywhere and you'll have some that have yet to fall out of the, the shell but they're everywhere i can't walk without stepping on them i just started just going around this tree they're thick and most of these have come down Anyways, if I can do this one hand, I'll show you what I got going here. This is a bag of nut harvester. I don't think I've ever showed it before. What it does, you see here, it just picks up the nut and brings it. And these black fingers um, lifts it, like this one's about to get lifted, into the basket. And it picks up pretty well everything that will get caught in this so you can see like these leaves are about to go in this is about to go in so it beats the hell out of picking them up by hand or picking them up with them little rollers Yep, they're flowing in there pretty good. It doesn't take long to get a basket. Every once in a while you get a stick, clog it up. Sometimes you gotta get in here and press these fingers down. I wasn't pushing it quick enough. I'm holding the phone, but anyways. Let 
once you get to where you're going to dump, it's pretty simple. Just bring it out on your tarp. Dry boy. So, these are a much bigger, a much bigger nut. It's hard to tell. These are slightly bigger. They're always like that every year. So you have some like that. Overall, these are just, uh, I wouldn't call these, you know, like commercial pecan trees, like where they're sprayed with fungicide and all that, but I make pretty good money off of them, selling them, either in the shell or up in town, they have a, a pecan cracking place where you can take them and get them cracked for 25 cents a pound so that you can pick them out easier this is this tree it's loaded uh the, the yield on these these two trees are always less but the nut quality and the nut size is always better than my other trees Uh, this tree picks up well because it's out here in this uh, nice short sod grass and they seem to drop their leaves a little later than these other ones. <clears throat> Let me show you this other tree over here. Yeah, we bought the little picker thing probably back in... 2012 2013 that thing was like 550 bucks may have even been 600 i don't know but it's crazy ridiculous high for that just plastic basically <clears throat> so this is this tree loaded absolutely loaded they're everywhere everywhere you look so I'll come get this tree up quick oh, look at these it's a little hard to tell but they're everywhere that's a little one Got this blocked off, so the UPS man won't come in here and crack about ten dollars worth. <laughs> and then this tree is what they call a seedling, and it's not really hasn't really started dropping a whole lot. But let me grab a few of these and I'll show you. They look like over here in the shade. They are just a whole different type of nut. They're smaller, a little more pointed at the end. Um, there is a decent amount of these down. So I need to block this off. But like that, that cluster of four right there, it's still green. And it, they're just everywhere on this tree just still green but it's dropped a good bit let's see if i can crack one of these little ones open for you guys this is really hard to do with one hand So yeah, here's a look at the two different types of pecans that I have. So this one on the left here is a Stewart, and the one on the right is the seedling. So you can tell a little smaller. Um, I personally like these small ones and like um, pies and stuff. I don't know they just like 
I, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, they're both, I mean, they're both awesome for making pies, but I just, I like the smaller ones. But, uh, yep, so I got quite a bit to do here. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, comment below whether you say um, pecan or pecan and what state you live in. I'm kind of curious to know. So, uh, see you guys later.